Hello, this is Victoria Wynn. I'm getting so many questions on my butterfly here. So I thought I'd go over it, give you a little commentary, maybe a few tricks and things that um, I did and I learned while creating this piece called She's Free. So for the background, I've just used some mica powder. I'm not brand loyal yet. I haven't partnered with any companies. Um, so I'm thinking any mica powder will likely do just in a gold color. And then I've also used a Lux powder. It's called Golden Glow. So what I did is I added mica powder into my resin alternative Lux Water Effects. You can do the same thing with resin. Stir your mica powder right in. Add some of the golden glow or whatever color you want. It's all up to you. I'm just letting you know how I got this um, kind of a gold, slightly bronze. That mica powder is bringing, it brought up a little bit of like a natural green hue. Worked quite well since I was doing a butterfly, but do know that evidently mica powder can bring up other colors underneath it. Now for the Lux powders, whatever the color you see is the color you see, unless it's one of our color changing and this one is not. So anyways, I mix it up in Lux water effects from winmodernart.com and I just took a popsicle stick and just spread it out for the background. All I had to do is let it sit out overnight. Lux water effects is very quick drying. So the next morning, then I started on the butterfly. I used acrylic black paint, green, and like a teal, sorry, um, a teal and a blue. Black, blue, and green. And just freehand drew my butterfly, filled it in. And then when it was still, the acrylics were still a little wet, <clears throat> I poured water effects. It's in a big like pile right here. And you'll see from my process video, I just spread it um, with my hands and spread the water effects all around to make the paint just kind of did a cool marbly effect. Then after that, while it was still nice and wet, I took my Lux Glow Tints. That's Aqua Island. That's <clears throat> Belize Blue of the Glow Tints. And I just put a little on my hand and I toss it a little bit hard because um, when I like I tossed it passionately <laughs> like I took a little pile and when I say a little bit hard if you just do a real light toss it could just kind of dust all over so so you could see right here like I went <laughs> like that to get that neat effect so I did that with Aqua Island I did it on both sides to kind of even out my butterfly. And again, this is the Belize Blue here. This is Orion Lux Powder. The difference between the Lux Powder and the Lux Glow Tint is the Lux Glow Tint is much, much finer and you can also use it in deep pores, like river pores, it mixes great into resin and will um, not like sink in your deep pores. The Lux Glow powders also have a little sparkle and they will sink in a deep pore, not like in your regular molds and that kind of thing. But if you're doing this big deep river pore table, then I have developed the Lux Glow tints just for you. But for me, I mean, it, none of that even matters. I just was taking like, handfuls, let's see, I think I've got my glow tints around here somewhere. Um, I was just taking handfuls and tossing it. So you don't have to mix it into anything really. Let's see, looks like I, I cleaned up well after myself, put my, my tints away. But also wanted to show you that for some added dimension, with water effects, I drew little butterflies. 
So when you're walking around the piece of art, I want to feel like it's just coming alive with you and you're seeing new things as you walk by. So here's another, this is just Lux water effects. I don't know if you've ever tried this before, but it's so fun to create little designs using Lux water effects. It comes up a little bit raised like that. And you can make abstract designs in this case. It was a really fun idea for my butterfly. So to get a real quick, so here's some tips now. A real quick glow, just grab a UV flashlight. And right now there's a whole lot of natural light coming in the house. Um, sorry, not in the house, in the studio. But all you gotta do, grab your UV light when you need to like do a little photo shoot or you just wanna see where you have glowed and where you might wanna add more glow. So I always have this by me or one of the little ones that I send with your packages. Um, when I have them in stock, I just send them for free. So I just use my, uh, that little UV light helps me to know where things are glowing where I want to add more glow. So I always, always have one by my side while I'm painting. But it's also a great idea when you're ready for a photo shoot of your art, you're not gonna stand outside with your painting in the sun or go stick it by a window for hours. I mean, you know, we, we don't have time for all this, right? So just grab a UV light, light up your amazing piece of work with your Lux Glow products and then Take your photo, have a little bit of light coming into the room. Pitch black, usually a camera cannot identify the glow very well. It can't, it just confuses the camera if it's just pitch black. So let, like leave a door open just a little bit. So a tiny bit of light is coming in. You'll still see the glow and your customers will still see that um, it's clearly a painting on a canvas you have to, otherwise it could just look like a glowing, you know, sticker. Like they don't know what in the world that is and your camera won't pick it up typically. So that is my tip for taking amazing photos of glow, any, any of using our glow products. And this is genuine gold. Um, it's 24 karat gold I've got on here. So today, I am not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Um, I mean, it's available for purchase. I don't mean what I'm going to, you know, what its fate is. I'm just thinking, I got a little bit of glow in this area right here and it's just not coming off super easily. So I might just put a little bit more gold right there. Basically, I'm just gonna go and touch up just little things. I might add a little more glow to her. Um, she's glowing pretty well, but can't get enough of it. Oh, I know I, the final thing I want to talk with you about is right in this little area. I used Golden Lava Lux Powder because it brought up some yellow. So when you look at this painting in the dark, you'll see these yellow circles. And I did that to be like the eyes uh, that you would see, you know, on a butterfly in the bottom of the wing. So it's golden lava and also the new color that I'm about to launch. Um, it's called Aurora. It's going to be a glowing green that you can use for your Aurora, you know, Borealis Northern Lights paintings. But it brought up a really beautiful, bright, bright color right there mixed with the golden lava. I've also got a few little amethyst stones here and then that's some 24 karat gold leaf. And many of you don't know about the magic that is Firefly Lux Powder. It is that blue, kind of a blue purple shimmer. I've added it all along here 
Because you gotta remember, when you're making a glowing piece of art, it's gotta look great during the day too, not just at night. So added some Firefly. It's a color shifting powder. It, ooh, I happen to have it right here from when I was doing this painting. Okay, that's what it looks like. So imagine what that hits resin or paint. It just lights up like it's electricity. Isn't that amazing? It's called Firefly. So it's like a black to blue to purple. It's gorgeous. So I thought that is gonna be incredible as some detail work in her wings. Anyways, everybody, if you have questions, just comment below. I love you guys. The Lux products, color shifting products, the glow products, that beautiful rose gold, all found when modernart.com, as well as non-toxic Lux water effects. There's no resin in this piece. That wet little look right there, it's completely dry. All of this, this whole piece is completely dry, but that wet look is from the water effects. All found on winmodernart.com. I love you guys.